Come on in, everyone. Come on in. I'm going to wait for Facebook to build an audience, but I want to first say this. If you are watching this as a rerun, I pray the power of God will hit you as if you were live with us. Come on in, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glory be to God. Come on. There's a message. Hallelujah on tonight. Uh, as you begin to come in, people of God, I need you to do me a favor. Glory be to God and begin at Abba to tag and share. Come on, the enemy is upset because he's defeated on tonight. If I can get you guys, glory be to God, to come on in and tag 10 people you love, 10 people you care about, 10 people you want to motivate. Come on, on tonight. Uh, hallelujah. I am a firm believer that the devil is upset. Uh, glory be to God on tonight uh, because we are jumping on. There's a word. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please don't come in just watching. Please do me a favor, people of God, <coughs> and begin to tag and share. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. God bless you. How you doing, Sh Chantrice? Could I get you to come in tagging and sharing? Come on in, people of God. I am praying that everyone has had a great day. And if you have not had a great day, I pray, people of God, that, that God will begin to shift some things for you on tonight. Come on in, people of God. I need you to come in and do me a favor and begin hallelujah to tag and share come on come on there's a breakthrough uh, that somebody needs on tonight uh, i don't know personally who this message is going to be for but let me say this uh, you better hear me and serve the enemy notice glory be to god on today uh, that god still has time to do it for you uh, come on in people of god as we build it up uh, this audience on tonight come on Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a pressing uh, that has to take place. Uh, come on, y'all already know I'm not going to get started until I feel like everybody is on who's supposed to be on. So the quicker you come in tagging and sharing, and if I could just be honest with you, there are moments and there are times, people of God, that we don't want to encourage nobody else uh, while going through what we're going through. But I need you to hear me and hear me on today. Uh, glory be to God. It's something about uh, when you can lift others up uh, when you're on the verge of breaking down. Y'all ain't hearing me on tonight. Uh, it's something about uh, people of God when you can encourage somebody uh, even from a broken state. Uh, that lets the enemy know that the state uh, you are currently in uh, you will not be there for long. Uh, come on in and begin to tag and share. And as you come in, uh, come on, I just want you to drop in the comment section. I won't be like this for long. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, the enemy should have did whatever he was going to do to you uh, before you messed around and you clicked on this live on tonight. Uh, because there's a life-changing word, people of God, uh, that is about uh, to take place. Uh, glory be to God for the ones uh, who receive the word of the Lord on tonight. Come on, I'm inviting some people to the live also. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Y'all got to be patient. Let me get ready to call out some names. I said the Bible says where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. The only way we can come in agreement, glory be to God, with what we're believing God for, people of God, on tonight, is if I say something that blesses you, hear me and hear me well, you will begin to tag and share. You'll begin to comment. You'll begin to help me upset the enemy on tonight glory to god come on come on come on come on if we gotta push then we gonna push come on come on come on come on we gonna build it up a kosiah an audience on tonight just give me a second as you will see me also tagging some people who i feel needs uh this 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 oh jesus uh, who i feel needs this word on tonight so come on in people of god and begin to share come on about two more minutes just give me a second, you guys, and you'll see the numbers moving. Come on, don't let me be the only one. Hallelujah, tagging. Glory be to God on tonight. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a pressing. Could I get you to press with me on tonight? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a pushing. Glory be to God on tonight. Hallelujah. We come against every spirit of distraction on tonight. Just give me a second, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm looking down because I am also tagging some people to this live. I think it's easier for me. Glory be to God to do it with this phone. Just give me a second. Blessings, blessings to everybody who's coming in, tagging and sharing. I greatly, hallelujah, appreciate you on tonight. Uh, hallelujah. I come against the spirit because, you know, Facebook do that sometimes because I won't, hallelujah, allow them to uh, 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 do commercial breaks uh, in between uh, Hallelujah. In between my um in between my lives, they like to play with the numbers and then when you save the live, you'll see all the people that was on. Come on in, people of God. There is something that I wanted to stay uh to say, excuse me, on tonight. Uh, I want to just put the topic out there really quickly so you will understand why the enemy is mad that you are on on tonight. Uh, tonight's topic, people of God, uh, is um Oh, Jesus, I'm too busy to address you. <laughs> Woo! Tonight's topic to the ones that are watching. I need you to hear this with your good ear on tonight. Is I'm too busy to address you. Hear me and hear me well. You ought to tag some of your friends who've been going through it and fighting demons and fighting situations that have took all of their attention. I tried to come on and you know kind of pipe down, but I feel my help kicking in already. Baby, if you ain't got no enemies, if you ain't got no haters. If you ain't got no people that are counting you out, uh, you are doing uh, something wrong. Uh, to you, the one that's watching uh, this video on tonight, uh, the Lord is about to teach you uh, how to address your issues uh, and your enemies at the same time. Uh, somebody ought to put in the comment section, uh, issues uh, and enemies. Come on. I feel God. Come on. I feel God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I feel God. Hear me and hear me well on tonight. When the Lord gave me tonight's topic for the people of God, I'm too busy to address you. I got to take a moment and gather my thoughts because there are literally some of us right now before you jumped on this live, you just got done trying to prove a point to somebody who would never be able to mentally understand where you're coming from because they don't have no intentions of understanding you. There are some of you right before glory to God, you got on this live. You better hear me and hear me well on tonight. People of God, watch this. You were just saying to yourself, glory be to God. I'm tired of explaining myself. I'm tired of having to prove myself to other people people. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Glory be to God. I'm having to tell people, hallelujah, that I can stand on my own. There are some of you that are watching on tonight. The enemy has literally sent distractions by way of people, by way of places, and by way of things just to detour you off the route that God got you on. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm headed somewhere. Anytime, people of God, you're headed somewhere. Anytime, people of God, you've made up your mind to just keep moving forward. Any of them go shy. Time, people of God, you begin to say, I'm in a place, hallelujah, where I'm no longer allowing the enemy to have control over my mind, over my money, over my situation. You have to prepare yourself for the attack. Tonight's message, if you're just now tuning in, is I'm too busy to address you. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, I'm too busy, I'm too busy. God is saying for me to tell you on tonight, there are some of you literally that are watching this live right now at this very moment. You've been sidetracked and don't even realize it. Sometimes people of God, the enemy will use certain things, hallelujah, not just to watch this, get the glory from it, huh? 
but to distract you from the route you are on. There are some of you, you were getting ready to respond, glory be to God, in a different way. And God is saying, you got to realize that you are too busy to address it. Jesus. See, some of y'all don't even understand. You don't even understand that having haters is a flex. Oh, God. Somebody got to put in the comment section. I'm flexing. I'm going to break this thing down on tonight. Some of you that are watching, you don't even understand. Having people on your job that don't like you is a big flex. What are you saying, Dr. Shakir McFat? There are some of you that are watching on tonight. Having haters in your own blood. Bloodline, when you got the same last name, it's a big flex. If you ain't from the hood, you wouldn't even understand. To, 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 to flex on somebody means you showing and you proving a point. If there are people in your life that got a problem with where you are at right now, they about to really not be able to stand you. But God is saying you got to get to a place where you begin to say, I'm too busy to address you. Do you know, people of God, that every time uh, you got to stop what you're doing to address your enemies, uh, that time you can't get back. Uh, do you know, people of God, uh, every time uh, you allow your enemies, uh, hallelujah, or your issues, uh, I said tonight, people of God, uh, hallelujah, uh, the you, meaning the Y-O-U, uh, may be a, watch this, uh, a person, place, uh, or a thing. Uh, sometimes it's not your enemies, uh, it's your problems. Sometimes it's not your enemies, it's your issues. But God is saying to you on tonight, you got to respond when I'm too busy to address you. There are some of you, you focus more on how much money you owe from the bills than trying to focus on how you're going to rub a child, how you're going to get the money. I need you to understand that. There are some of you, you are so focused on how they did you wrong in the relationship. Glory be to God that you not focused on whatever you walk out on. God will replace it with something better. Oh, I know what I'm talking about on tonight. There are some of you watch this people of God you drifted, drifted so far away hallelujah from what God has called you to do. Hallelujah that you don't even realize it's all a part of his plan. Tonight people of God the Lord is saying your response got to be I'm too busy to address you. I need you to hear me on tonight. I'm too busy to address you. There's some of you, hallelujah, you're addressing the same problems over and over and over. And God is saying on tonight, if you are busy, you shouldn't have time, huh? hallelujah, to address huh? a certain issue or a problem. Huh? It was an issue last month. Huh? You complained about it all last month. Huh? Why is it still huh? playing on your mental this month? Huh? I need you to get this in the spiritual realm. Huh? There are things, people of God, huh? that you no longer can address. Huh? You better hear me and hear me well. Huh? Because God is saying, huh? I got you huh? on this journey. Huh? But somehow, huh? you've allowed that enemy to redirect you I'm busy so I can't address you Somebody ought to put in the comment section, I'm too busy. Have you ever been in a situation, people of God, when you will begin to say this to yourself? I got so many issues and so many problems. I don't have time to address anybody who's coming with more issues and more problems. Have you ever got to a place where you begin to say, I got so much going on in my life that I no longer have time to partake in full Jesus conversations that are no longer benefiting me. God is saying to you, the one that's watching this video, you're too busy to keep addressing it. 
there's a story in the Bible, people of God, about a man named Nehemiah. And what I love about this story, people of God, is he was able to identify his enemies before they even came up on him. The Lord of the Bacosiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need you to hear me and hear me well as I go into this story. Because I hear the Lord saying, if you can block out the distractions, if you can stop addressing things, hallelujah, that it's taking you off track. I'm a firm believer, people of God. My mama told me, don't open mail that don't got my name on it. There are some of you that are addressing issues that wasn't addressed to you. What do you mean, Dr. Shakir McFan? I know they talk about me on their social media, but they ain't tag you in it. I know they talk about you. Glory be to God like a dog to everybody else you're close to, but they know not to say it in your face. Stop opening unaddressed mail in this season. Why? Because you're too busy to address it. Come on, I need everybody to tag five people really quickly. Uh, come on, come on, this message not just for you. Uh, tag five people. Come on, I see some of my snipers that just jumped on and didn't tag anybody. Y'all do me a favor and tag uh, because there's powers in numbers. Uh, there's power in unity. Uh, there's, a, there's a story in the Bible, people of God, about a man named Nehemiah. And as the Lord gave me tonight's message, I immediately begin to think about Nehemiah. Nehemiah was building and doing a great thing when his enemies came to approach him. Don't you know that people will watch you from afar? This is why you can have an idea to start the business uh, and right away the attacks come. Uh, this is why you can have an idea to finally settle down uh, and not be out here doing hot girl summer and somebody will come and tell you how they know your man. Uh, this is another coach. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is why people of God, uh, hallelujah, uh, you better hear me and hear me well. Uh, that anytime you're getting ready uh, to do something, glory be to God. Uh, watch this. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, anytime. You're getting ready to do something. The enemy comes with a distraction. Thank you guys for tell, um, tagging Stylish Neeson, Roxy, that baby, and Diane Ward. Watch this. Nehemiah chapter 6 says this. Huh? When word came to Sanballat, Tobiah, and Ch Jeshem, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies, that I had rebuilt, uh, hallelujah, the wall, and there was no gaps uh, left in it. Uh, though up, watch this, at the time, I had not even set the doors in on the gate. Uh, I'm going to give you the Bible, and then I'm going to give you the hood version, so it can make sense for your life. Uh, the Bible says this, watch this, in the hood version, uh, that when word got out, uh, that you I'm talking about you. I said today's message was I'm too busy to address you. So tonight, every time you hear me say Nehemiah, I want you to drop your name in the comment section. When word got out that you were bouncing back from your last eviction. When word got out that, watch this, it didn't kill you, even though the doctor gave you a bad report. When word got out that you was pregnant again after the last miscarriage. When word got out. Glory to God that you was out there looking for your children instead of turning your back on them. When word got out the Bible says this, people of God, watch this. Uh, it, it, it says this, uh, the Bible says, uh, hallelujah, uh, when word came uh, to Sanabal, Tobiah, and Jeshem, uh, the Arab, uh, and the rest of my enemies, uh, that I have rebuilt the wall, uh, and there was no gap left in it. Uh, you know what that means, people of God? Uh, that the wall was built perfect, uh, even though the doors wasn't on it. Uh, when you are doing something uh, to the best of your ability, uh, you're going to always feel like, uh, hallelujah, uh, there are people out there uh, who are going to always feel like uh, they can do what you can do better than you. Uh, this is why you got so many homewreckers uh, come in and wreck people relationships. Uh, so many spirit of Jezebels uh, come in and destroy marriages because uh, they feel like uh, they can be a better wife. Uh, glory to God than you can. Uh, you sit back and you be like, listen, uh, if you only knew uh, what came along with that package, uh, if you only knew uh, what I battled with my 
behind closed doors uh, with this man. Uh, I don't know who that was for. Uh, I hear the Lord say, uh, they think uh, that dimming in your relationship, uh, trying to deal with your man, uh, they got one up on you. Uh, but God is saying, uh, if they only knew uh, what would come along with that package, uh, baby, you want him. Uh, yeah, you might got money, uh, but he also a headache. Uh, baby, you want him. Uh, yeah, he might take you out on nice dates, uh, but he might cheat on you sometime. Uh, the grass uh, always looks greener uh, on the other side. But I hear the Lord saying, uh, you're too busy to address them. Hallelujah. Watch this. The crazy part about this, people of God, watch this. The Bible says this, that when they found out uh, he had built the wall and there was no gaps uh, left in it, even though he had not put the doors on it. The Bible says this, that Sambalot and Jeshem uh, sent this message to me. Come down from off the wall and let's meet together and have a talk. The Bible says this, that Nehemiah said, come on, I said, drop your name in the comment section. Every time you hear the, the word Nehemiah, the Bible says this, that in verse 2, it says that Nehemiah said, but they were just scheming to harm me. You got to be able in the midst of your frustration to point out the enemy. You got to be able in the midst of them ganging up on you to identify the witch. You got to be able in the midst of all the hell you're going through. Hear me and hear me well, people of God, to be able to sit up and say, I'm doing a great thing. I cannot come down and address you. Tonight's message, people of God, is I'm too busy to address you. Somebody ought to put that in the comment section. I'm too busy. Watch this, people of God. The Bible said in verse 2 that his enemy sent a message to him. Come down off the wall. I need to talk to you. This is what messed me up. Verse 3 says that Nehemiah, dropped your name, said this. So I sent a message back to them. I am doing a great project. I cannot come down. Why should I stop the work I'm doing? Hallelujah. To leave down and address you. Let me give you the good version of that. Because remember I said on tonight. You're you. Y-O-U. Somebody put in the mm, Jesus in the comment section. You. Your you may be a person. Or you. your you may be your issues. You cannot come off the wall. And keep addressing your bills. If you already gave it to God. There are some of you when you get so overwhelmed. You can't even get out of your bed and make it to work. There are some of you, when you're going through so much hell, you cannot operate and be the best version of yourself. There are some of you that are watching, when you have people that are doing you wrong, you can't even be the best version of yourself to your children. Oh, let's talk about it. But Nehemiah said, I'm doing a great thing. I cannot stop what I'm doing to come down and address you. The Bible says, they sent a message to him. Verse two said he already knew, baby, you were just scheming me. And the verse three says this, he replied with a message. I'm doing a great work. I don't know what you're doing right now. I don't care if you're working a nine to five and you're doing it six, seven days a week. You're doing a great work. I don't know who, who Jesus, who this message is for on tonight. I don't care if you take care of your children all by yourself. You paying your bills all by yourself. You're doing a great work. You better hear me. It may not be easy, but baby, keep building. It might not watch this huh? be as good as everybody else doing huh? but baby keep building huh? somebody ought to put in the comment section i'm gonna keep building verse 4 says this huh? It said four more times, uh, they sent the same message to me. Uh, and each and every time, uh, I reply with the same answer. Uh, do you know people of God? Uh, hear me and hear me well. Uh, if watch this, uh, the enemy can't get you to buckle and fold. Uh, the first time, uh, he gonna try again. Uh, this is why the devil might be attacking your uh, finances. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you arguing with your man. Or you arguing with your wife. Glory be to God in your house. Uh, the enemy gotta get you more. 
more than one way. The Bible says they came back four times trying to see if he would put down his hammer and his nails. And he said, I'm doing a great work. Why? That's what messed me up. When he said, why should I let you distract me? I dare somebody who is watching on tonight to put in the comment section, why? Why, 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 why? Why should I let it distract me? You're just now tuning in. Tonight's message is I'm too busy to address you. So Nehemiah had already told them, I already know you my enemies. What I'm coming down to talk to you for. The Bible says they came back four times and he replied with the same thing. Could I make this make sense? The hood version for somebody who don't understand. Watch this. I don't care what the devil throw at you. You better keep responding. My God got it. Somebody ought to put that in the comment section. You ought to keep responding. My God got it. I don't care what it looked like. It's going to be the same response. My God got it. He said four more times. They came back approaching him. The Bible says this in verse 5. Then the fifth time. Sambalot sent his aid, glory to God, to me with the same message. Now that I've told you no, you try to send somebody else. This is why people of God watch this. When you watch this, begin to tell somebody else, I'm no longer allowing you to break me. I'm no longer allowing you to take advantage of me. You ever been in a relationship where you say, I'm done. Get your stuff and get out. Now all of a sudden his mama want to call you. You ever been in a relationship? I got to make this make sense huh? for some of y'all. Huh? You ever been in a relationship and you say, I'm out, I'm done. Huh? And all of a sudden, huh? come on, he's not feeling well. He needs you to come over and take care of him. Huh? Come on, come on. You ever been in a relationship? Huh? Glory be to God. Huh? And then, then, then watch this. Huh? You already told him you finished and you done. Huh? And then they get you with, watch this. They get you with this. Go ahead and leave because everybody in my life done walked out on me. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, you telling the truth. He said, watch this. The Bible say, after he made it clear, over and over again, I'm not coming down to address you. You're my enemy and I'm doing a great work. Now you want to send your aid? You want to send your assistant? The enemy will do whatever the enemy can do to break to break you down. The Bible says this, watch this. That he sent his aid with the same message. And in his hand was an unsealed letter in which it was written. Watch this. It is reported among the nations of Jessam. Say it's true that you and the Jews are plotting to build a great wall. According to the report, you are about to try to become king. Verse 7 says this. And have even appointed prophets to make this proclamation. Verse 8 says this. I sent him with this reply. What's this? You done sent your aid. You done sent your assistant. You done sent me a notarized letter. I'm trying to give you the hood version of this. Now you're going to tell me I'm building the wall for this reason. You don't even know what I'm building for. The Bible says he responded with this. Nehemiah responded with this. Somebody drop your name in the comment section. Tonight's message is I'm too busy to address you. What's this? Nehemiah say, I responded with this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. He said, I responded with this reply. Nothing you said is really happening. You just making it all up in your head. <clears throat> Nothing you say is really happening. You just making it all up in your head when people will see you building, when people will see you trying to become a better version of yourself, when people will see you doing a great work. You better hear what I'm saying to you. They're going to always have something to say. They want to speculate. They trying to get in your head. They want to distract you. And God is saying, just keep building. Why? Because you are too busy to address your enemies. First nine begin to say this. They were all frightened. Glory to God. And their hands were too weak for the work. Work, huh? So it couldn't be completed. Huh? The Bible says this, huh? but I prayed, Lord, strengthen my hands. Somebody missed their shout right there. Verse 9 says that he prayed, Lord, strengthen my hands. Huh? There are some of you, you better hear me and hear me well. 
You better ask God for strength in your hands. We are in days right now, people of God, where it's getting really, really hard. People are breaking down. People are committing suicide. People are going crazy. People are losing their mind because people don't really know what people are battling behind closed doors. But when you feel at your weakest, when you are trying to accomplish some things, Lord, strengthen my hands. Somebody ought to comment that over and over. I want to see the hand emojis for the next 60 seconds. I want to see you putting in the comment section. Lord, strengthen my hands. Strengthen my hands, God. So when I pull my wallet out my purse, glory to God, I'll be blessed. Strengthen my hands, God. So when I'm anointing my husband, hallelujah, or my wife, come on, I don't know who this for, or your baby daddy, your baby mama, while they're asleep, when I'm praying for them, allow things to change. Strengthen my hands, Lord. So when I'm praying and laying hands on my children, things will begin to change. Strengthen my hands, Lord. So when I'm filling out the application, for the job, for the business funding, I'll got favor. Strengthen my hands, Lord. Another Kosaya, somebody ought to put her. Strengthen my hands. Strengthen my hands, God. When I walk out to the car dealership and I watch this, test drive the car that I want, even though I know I don't qualify for it. Strengthen my hands, Lord. See, there's some people don't care who read and need this word. And there are some of y'all don't care who plan. But I heard the Lord say, when you get it for real, watch how things change. Tonight's message is I'm too busy to address you. Verse 10 says this, people of God. It says, watch this. One day I went to the house of Shannon and Delilah, the son of Metabab. Watch this. Who was shut in at his home. He said, let us meet in the house of God inside the temple and let us close the temple doors because men are coming to kill you by night and they're coming to kill you. Watch this. Verse 11 messed me up. The Bible says, Nehemiah said this. It says, but I said, drop your name. Remember, I said every time you get Nehemiah, drop your name. You're doing something prophetically. Hallelujah. But I said, should a man like me run away? They just told him, let's go hide in the temple because it's some men coming to kill you. Nehemiah responded, man, should a man like me run away? When you know you are blessed, no matter what you're going through, you can let your enemy know I'm not afraid of you. When you know what you carry, when you know you are an atmosphere changer, when you know you can speak a word and things change, when you know that you got a relationship with God for real, for real. I told my friend Pam the other day when we were talking on the phone, we are in a season where people can't fake it to make it anymore. You can't be saying, I pray to God and be playing around. You can't be saying, I'm I'm rocking faster than praying and you really not. You can't be saying I'm reading my Bible and you ain't doing it for real. The enemy ain't playing. There has to be a real relationship in this season. He said this. But I said, should a man like me run away? Or should someone like me go into the temple to save his life? He said, I will not go. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, I will not be moved. Verse 12 says this, I realized that God had not sent them, but that he had prophesied against me because Tobiah and Sandoval had hired him. His enemies had sent another distraction. He had been hired to intimidate me. Glory be to God. Verse 14 says this, remember Tobiah and Sandoval? My God, because of what they have done, remember also the prophet, watch this, and how she and the rest of the prophets have been trying to intimidate me. Verse 15 says this, so now, even in the midst of all of that, the wall was completed. Through all the distractions, watch this, he still got the job done. I need you to catch this in the spirit. I don't care what's going on around you. God said, I'm still going to bless you and get it done. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, Lord, bless me. I don't care how your enemies try to overcome you. God is saying, I'm still going to bless you and get the job done. See, sometimes people of God, people will see you as broken. And they don't understand that broken crayons still color. Sometimes people of God, people will see you at your works 
broken, huh? busted, borrowing, huh? begging, huh? and count you out, huh? not understanding huh? that that's the time God can use you the most. Huh? I give the Lord saying, huh? first 15 people of God huh? said that even through all of that, huh? the wall was completed. Huh? And the reason he was able huh? to complete the job huh? is because he will not let huh? nothing distract him. Huh? Tonight's message, huh? if you are watching, huh? is I'm too busy to address you. Somebody put, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. Glory be to God to address you. I'm too busy. Uh, hallelujah. To uh, continue to give you the keys to drive me crazy. Uh, remember I said uh, tonight's message was I'm too busy to address you. Uh, but watch this people of God. Uh, even though it's spelled Y-O-U. Uh, you might not be a person in your life. Uh, you may be. Glory to God. The car note uh, that is stressing you out. Uh, you may be. God, I'm going to go uh, Trying to find a place uh, for you and your children. Uh, you may be. The biblical child, the relationship that you are in. You may be your health. You better hear me and hear me well. You may be the IRS. Hallelujah. Trying to get money out of you. You may be the, your, your rich man. Everybody, you is different. But can you be in a place where you say, Satan, I got my hammer in my right hand. And I go, oh, Jesus. I got my hammer in my right hand uh, and a nail in another hand. Uh, I'm too busy uh, to pay attention to the things I've already given to God. Uh, somebody put in the comment section, I've already given it to God. Come on, come on. I've given it to the Bible, child, to God. I've, I've given it to God. Uh, see, I'm not talking about saying I've given it to God. Watch this. Uh, people of God. Uh, and you gave it and you took it back. Uh, you Indian giver. You no, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you gave it to God uh, and you released it from your hands. Because uh, there's nothing you can do about it. God is saying uh, you got to get to a place uh, where you stop uh, allowing the same people uh, or the same issues uh, to detour you. Uh, there are some of you uh, you've been redirected because uh, you're focusing on things uh, that God already got under control. He said, just keep building. There are some of you who are going astray because you're focusing on things that God is taking care of. He said, keep building. There are some of you who have wandered off because you're focusing on things that God said I already got under control. He said, just keep building. Verse 15, people of God. It said the, the, the wall was completed. Verse 16 says this. Uh, and when all our enemies heard about this, uh, all the surrounding nations were afraid uh, and they lost their self-confidence. Uh, watch this. Uh, because God is about to prove uh, to your issues, uh, to your problems, uh, and to your enemies uh, that you were building, ignoring them. Uh, because you was, watch this, uh, no Jesus Christ trying to get the job done. Uh, sometimes when you don't address people or you don't address situations, people will think you scared. Nehemiah enemies came back four more times with the same message before they sent their assistant the aid glory be to God with a notarized letter they came back four more times <coughs> glory to God trying to scare him up watch this and he still wasn't moved my message to you the one that's watching this video I don't care how the enemy trying to get you God is saying on tonight you're too busy to address it. When you know that God, hallelujah, is doing a great work within you. Sometimes, watch this, people of God. You got to say, Lord, strengthen my hands. Sometimes, people of God, if I can be honest, you got to say, Lord, strengthen my feet. Some of you need strength in your feet to walk away. Let them go shy. And watch this. Not from the relationship, but I hear this clearly in the spirit. Some of you need, watch this, strengthen your feet, the feet to get up and walk out on faith. Sometimes we cry about things God has taken away from us. Not even realizing that he had to snatch it from under you to give you something better. Ooh. Ooh. Some of y'all better catch this. Some of y'all better catch this. 
Rabbi Kosaya. Watch this. Hear me. Hear me. No, no, no. I need you to pay attention, Maria. Watch this. I need you to pay attention to this diamond. Hear me out, Shamika Wright. Shamika Wright. Watch this. Sometimes you need God to put strength in your feet. Tell it about Kosaya. So you can step out on faith. Ooh. Stepping out on faith ain't easy, people of God. Not only do you got to pray for your hands, but I've been in a situation where I got to pray for my feet. I, I, I told the story before about when I stepped out on faith to purchase my home. Watch this. When I stepped out on faith to do it, the first house I didn't get. And I was so upset. I was confused with God because everybody I was prophesying the house to was taking picture with they, they soul sign and sending it to me. Prophet, is God spoke to you right. But for some reason, I was denied. Watch this. Watch this. Not right, not to Raya. My grandbaby, y'all, excuse me. Watch this. I didn't know I was, listen, I, I was done with the home buying process. But then, okay, 30 days later, the Lord said, go back at it. Watch this. I went back and applied again. God woke me up 3 o'clock in the morning and made me get on this website. I spotted the house. Watch this. I said, oh, Lord, God, this house is way bigger. And it got all three things that checked off on my list. The last house only got two things checked off, but I was willing, watch this, to settle because I wanted a house for me and my children. And God said, no. This house was much bigger and cheaper. And it checked off all three things on my list. I needed a kid, a, 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 a lake in the back so my kids can fish in, my own lake, you know, that run in the back of my yard. I needed my own pool for my grandbaby and for my children. And I need a huge uh, 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 a master bedroom with double closet, walk-in closets for me and my husband. The other house ain't have the walk-in closets, but I was going to make it work. Sometimes we settle before God can show up. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I felt that all in my spirit. Watch this. So I thought God had forgotten about me, but that wasn't the case. I thought God, watch this, didn't think it was the time for me to purchase the home, but that wasn't the case. I had to pray for strength in my feet to go back at it, to get up and go back at it again. God did not because he had something way better. I don't know who this is for on tonight, but you better receive that. You the one that's watching this video. I hear the Lord saying, I denied you. Watch this. And I'm Goshiah, because I got something way better. It does not mean that God is saying no. It just means that God is saying, I got something way better. So sometimes people of God, like Nehemiah, you got to ask for strength in your hands. Some of you, it may be strength in your feet. If I can be real, some of you, it may be strength in your pockets. You ought to be bold enough to put it there. Lord, strengthen my pockets. Come on, because there are times, people of God, you take two steps forward. And then it looks like you're taking five steps back. Sometimes, people of God... It looks like when you're finally getting stable and just having enough, huh? hallelujah, where you're comfortable, something happens. And now you're in a hole again. Some, somebody ought to put in the comment section sometimes. Huh? Sometimes, people of God, it looks like when the Lord is working the relationship out. Seems like a little bit later on, y'all are drifting away again. Watch this. But I hear the Lord saying on tonight. No matter what's going on around you, like Nehemiah, keep building. Tonight's message, if you are just now tuned in, people of God, is I'm too busy to address you. Sometimes when you don't address the situation, when you don't address your issues, when you don't address the enemy, the devil will think you scared. You better hear what I'm saying to you. I I'm going to say it again. Tonight's message, people of God, was I'm too busy. To address you, why owe oh, you? And your you might not be a person. It might be an issue. It might be the very thing, glory to God, uh, that is stressing you out. Uh, Nehemiah said, as I was building, I was able to identify my enemies. His enemies came up trying to distract him from doing a great work. Uh, and he said, why should I come down and hold a conversation with you when I'm busy? And watch this. 
The Bible says that four more times they came and tried to distract him. And the Bible says he replied with the same thing. I'm too busy to come down to address you. There are some of you, you better hear what I'm saying to you on today. Be consistent with placing the enemy under your feet. You got to get to a place where you say, I'm too busy to worry about it. Too busy. I'm too busy. God, you gave me the building. If I'm stretched on how I'm going to pack the place. God, you gave me the building. If I'm stressed, hallelujah, on how I'm going to do it. God, you gave me, hallelujah, the business. If I'm stressed on how I'm going to get my hair clients. God, watch this. Hear me and hear me well. God, you gave me this and you gave me that. If I'm stressed on how the clients going to show up, I'm distracted. God said, just keep building. Nehemiah, he kept his hammer in his right hand. He kept his nail in his left hand. Every now and again, he had to stop to look down to the distractions beneath him and say, I'm doing a great thing. I cannot address you. Believe it or not, even though your distractions look bigger than you sometimes, the Lord is saying they're beneath you. There are some of you that are watching. The Lord is saying you're too focused on the wrong you. When I say why are you, I said tonight's message was I'm too busy to address you. What I want you to do for the next 60 seconds is drop what your you is. I want you to put you, Y-O-U equals finances. Y-O-U, me, watch this. Y-O-U equals my children. Y-O-U equals the relationship. Y-O-U equals the better car that I need. Y-O-U equals, hallelujah, the, the, the clients. Y-O-U, you. Nehemiah said, I'm too busy to address you. And after they came back four times, his enemies, glory to God, trying to distract him. The Bible says, then his enemies sent their assistant, their aide, with a notarized letter to deliver to him. And his response was, this is not of God. I'm too busy to respond when I know my God got it. God will back up your enemies. God will back up your issues. God will back up your problems. God will back up the witchcraft. Just so you finish the work. They're threatened by your potential to build. Somebody ought to put, I'm building, I'm, I'm building, I'm building. It's not that I'm scary. I'm building. It's not that I don't want to address you. I'm building. It's not that I don't want to put you in my place, in your place. I'm building. God The Bible says this People know God in verse 15 It says that the wall was completed In the midst of all the hell Nehemiah had to go through With his enemies coming from the north The south, the east and the west I'm sure he felt like a broken record Like he was pre repeating himself Over and over and over I'm not coming down to address you Sometimes in life, people of God, we feel like we're complaining about the same things over and over and over. We feel like, oh my, 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 I done moved my cup and seen my oil. So I'm definitely going to be anointing some things tonight spiritually. Sometimes we feel like, God, I'm complaining about the same things over and over. When you going to show up? And I hear the Lord saying, just keep building. All you got to do is keep building. And I promise I'm going to complete a great thing within you. I need you to hear me on tonight. I'm getting ready to upload your next Facebook status. And I want you to tag me in it. Your next Facebook status should be, I'm too busy to address you. Whether you is somebody or whether you is an issue. God is saying, just keep building. Step out on faith and just keep building. Do you hear me? Watch this. The 
Bible says uh, that he began, uh, hallelujah, in verse 9, uh, to say, uh, but I prayed, uh, Lord, strengthen my hands. Uh, sometimes, people of God, uh, you get weak. Uh, some of you, I told you, uh, you need to pray for the Lord. Uh, to strengthen your pockets. You need to pray for the Lord. To strengthen your joy. You need to pray for the Lord. To strengthen your business. You need to pray to the Lord. To strengthen your feet. I'm telling you. When you're stepping out on faith and building. The devil is going to do. Anything to distract, distract you. I don't know who needs to hear this message. But I hear the Lord saying. Just keep building. As you're dropping, what, I'm getting ready to do something prophetically with my anointing oil. Because I can't be there to anoint you and hold your hands and come in agreement with you. Whatever you've dropped in the comment section, you're you. The thing, people of God, watch this. That keeps distracting you. I'm getting ready to anoint it on tonight. Watch this. That it is complete. And as I'm dropping the oil in the spiritual realm, I want you to see it as me dropping oil on the thing, the unanswered prayer you're still waiting on God to answer. Watch this. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, as I begin to drop this anointing oil on tonight, God spiritually, hallelujah, I ask Lord God, that you begin to allow this oil to drop on their problems. God, strengthen every area of their life that they're building on, waiting to see the manifestation of completion. I ask, oh God, on tonight that you put their enemies to shame. I ask on tonight, God, that you put their issues to shame on tonight. Father God, as they're bold enough to comment, the ones that are commenting, the ones that are stepping out in faith uh, supernaturally, uh, hallelujah, uh, I'm asking God uh, that you move like never before. Uh, Father, give them the focus and the strength to just keep building. We cover this prayer under the blood of Jesus because it's only the blood that works. Uh, the same way, God, you completed uh, the wall for Nehemiah, that about Josiah, in verse 15. I thank you that you're doing it for them. And as they begin to comment, it is complete. It is finished in the comment section. Father, I thank you that you're doing it supernaturally. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, I want you to comment below. It is finished. It is complete. <clears throat> and then I want you to comment, amen. I don't know who needed to hear this message on tonight. And I want you to upload your Facebook status when you get off. I want you to upload your Facebook status to us. I'm too busy to address you. <laughs> I'm too busy to give you my attention. I'm too busy, hallelujah, to keep addressing you. God is doing a complete thing in me. But I got to keep focused. I got to keep building. God, the same way you did it for Nehemiah, hallelujah. In verse 15, you should do it for your people. I don't know who this message was for on tonight. Uh, you ought to be bold enough to put in the comment section. This message was for me. Nehemiah chapter 6 uh, verse 15 said it was complete. Uh, Nehemiah's enemies uh, tried to destroy him multiple times. Uh, and he still kept responding with the same thing. Uh, why should I come down uh, to address you uh, when I'm doing a great work? Uh, I don't care what it looked like around you. Uh, just know uh, that God is doing a great work within you. you got to keep building. Sometimes you won't understand. Sometimes it won't feel good. Sometimes you're going to want to give up. But baby, your response to the enemy better be the same thing. Hallelujah. I'm not coming down to address you. God is doing a great work within me. Somebody put in the comment section, God is up to something. Nehemiah chapter 6. Verse 15, Nehemiah chapter 6, 
verse 15. I want everybody to put that in the comment section. Come on, Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15. Because watch this, people of God. Sometimes I need you to hear me and hear me well on tonight. Sometimes, watch this. We got to go back, hallelujah, and reread it over and over and over again that it is complete. If Nehemiah would have stopped, hallelujah, when the devil and the enemy tried to send any and everything to distract him, he couldn't watch this complete the work that God got in him. I don't know who's going through what they're going through right now, but I hear the Lord say that I'm about to complete it. Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 15 in verse 9 he said Lord strengthen my hands in verse 9 he said Lord strengthen my hands his enemies came over and over and over trying to distract him sometimes the enemy gonna throw multiple things at you but your response gotta be the same thing why should I address you when God is doing a great work within me Tonight's message was, I'm too busy to address you. And remember, I said, yo, you could be a person, but yo, you could also be an issue. You're praying for God to handle. Tonight, some of you, you dropped in the comment section that yo, you was your finances, your relationship, your children, the court case, the application, the keys, the car, the, the health. You dropped different things down. Do you believe that God can do it? Do you believe after tonight that it is complete? Right now, people of God, what I want you to do is pray. Pray and ask God, should you give into my ministry? Do not sow a seed into my ministry unless the Lord is releasing you to. We're sowing a Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15 seed on tonight. A Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15 seed. There are some of you, you're going to run and sow $16 and 15 cent right now. And when you sow the $16.15, I want you to put in the memo section, now, glory be to God, it is complete. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. The phone number at the bottom of the screen, 754-971-3301, people of God. It is for Cash App and Apple Pay only. There are some of you that are watching, you know this message was for you. You say, Dr. Shakir McFadden, I've never sown a seed a day in my life. You say, Dr. Shakir McFadden, I'm sorry, there are people calling. A lot of people will call because uh, they want to see how to give, that my older followers. You say, Dr. Shakir McFadden, I've never sown $16.15, nothing in my life. And God is saying, sometimes you got to do something different. So some of you are, you're going to sow the $16.15. And I want you to put in the memo section, watch this, uh, it is complete. Uh, hallelujah, verse 15 said, it was finally completed, uh, even though the devil tried to detour him. And then there are some of you, you're going to sow $16.15 for you, and $16.15 for each one of your children. I know you say, Dr. Shakir McFadden, the seed is so little on tonight. I give the Lord saying, watch this, uh, watch me do big things with it. Do you believe? $16.15. Some of you, you're going to sow $16.15 for your business and you're going to sow $16.15 for your loved one. I'm saying trust God. There are multiple ways to give, but the phone number on the bottom is for Cash App and Apple Pay only. 754-971-3301. There are some of you that are watching. You say, Dr. Shakira McFadden, if I sold $16.15, for every, okay, legacy, just hold on, baby. I'm getting ready to give the Zell information too. You say, Dr. Shakira McFadden, if I sold $16.15 for every issue and every problem I got, you say, I'll be sewing all day. So you say, I'm going to push it a little bit, uh, Dr. Shakira, and I'm going to sew $46.15. And with that $46.15, you say this is going to be my all-around seed because I need God to do it in every area of my life. If you're sowing the $46.15, I want you to put in the memo section, do it everywhere, Lord. $16.15, if you're sowing that in the memo section, you're sowing it is complete. 
But if you're stretching a little bit because you know this word was for you and you say, God, I got a bunch of problems uh, that I need you to watch this uh, to complete, that I need you to answer. You say, and you're going to sow the 4615. I want you to put in the memo section. God, do it everywhere. The phone number at the bottom, 754-971-3301. It's for Cash App and Apple Pay only. And the memo, I mean, um, you're going to, yes. Okay, with, with, with Cash App, Dr. Shakira McFadden is going to pop up. Put in the full phone number until you see the name Dr. Shakira McFadden. It's my old name. And when you put it in, um, put it in, you'll see me with the black dress on. Okay. And I want you to comment below, I sold as you sow. The other ways to give, and I'm getting ready to put it on the bottom of the screen. If you're sowing via Zelle, Chime, PayPal, Venmo, Borrow, or Givelify, it's at the bottom of the screen. 754-246-0580. This is only for Zelle, Chime, PayPal, Venmo, Faro, or Givelify. It's too many ways to give for you to mix this move of God. Too many ways to give. Small seed. $16.15. Or you're doing an all-around seed of $46.15. If you're sowing via Zelle, come on, y'all, screenshot if you need this number so I can put the other number back up. If you're sowing via Zelle, Gum Ministries will pop up. G-U-M for God Use Me. If you're sowing via Givelify, Shakira McFadden Ministries will pop up. I can even send you an invoice. 754-246-0580. Text the word invoice to that number or go directly through Givelify and you can use a card. I'm getting ready to put back down to the bottom again. Apple Pay and Cash App was a different phone number tonight people of god it's gonna take for you to pray to, to press you know what this live was for you 16 dollars and 15 cents some of y'all spend more of that on seafood boils you got to know when the move when the waters are stirring and this is why i say do not sow into my ministry unless the lord is releasing you to and the reason being is because i need your faith to line up with what i've spoken over your life $16.15. You're putting in the memo section. It is complete. We are sowing a Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 15 seed. Tonight's message, people of God, is I'm too busy to address you. Whatever the issues, whatever the problems you've been having, whoever the person may be, God is saying just keep building. God is saying, just keep building. Just keep building. God. Come on, $16.15. You say, I'm going to sow $16.15 for my health. And I'm going to sow $16.15. Hallelujah for the application I need approved. I give the Lord saying, business owners, stretch a little bit. And sow the $46.15 seed. I give the Lord saying, business owners, Stretch a little bit. If you're a business owner and you're sowing the $46.15 seed, I want you to put in the memo section your business name. $46, glory to God, and 15, the number goes shy, 15 cent. Come on, put your business in the comment section. Step out on faith. You know if it's drying up. You know if the clientele has slowed down. Come on, I want to I wanna put you to sow. Tonight, people of God, watch this. If you need God to do it for your son or for your daughter, I want to stretch you to sow the, I want to push you to sow the 4615. And I want you to put their name in the memo section. Maybe your daughter's in a relationship that you know is dangerous and she won't walk out. 4615. Put her name there. It is complete. Maybe, maybe your son is fighting a case. Hallelujah. Uh, with the with the court system. 4615. Maybe your child is 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 you know living the street life. Maybe they've taken your children away from you and they're in the system. I want to push you to sow on tonight. If you feel like a spirit of witchcraft is on you, I want you to sow that 1615 seed and say, break, ooh, Jesus, break witchcraft. I'm telling you, watch God. 
that's God. Do you believe? I believe for you. Father, I ask, Lord God, that you do something mind-blowing for these seeds on tonight. $16.15 is so small, but you're a big God that have taken a few fish and a few loaves and fed so many people when it didn't look like enough to everybody else who was watching. I ask that you perform the same miracle on tonight, Father. I ask that you move with the less that they've got. The, the, the small that they've sold. I ask that you do big miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to come out call out some of the names of the people. Who stepped out on faith and began to sow on tonight. Father I ask that you have your way. Uh, 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 Styles by niche. God bless you. Uh, seed receive. Bless your business too. Shernika, seed receive on tonight. God bless you. Erica Cruz, seed receive on tonight. God bless you. Teresa Jones, seed receive on tonight. God bless you. And I'm not saying who sold all around or regular. I'm just calling names because it's a bunch of people. KL Rogers, seed receive. God bless you. Styles by Niche, you sold twice. God bless you. Anika Allen, you sold. God bless you. Keisha Lewis, God bless you. Uh, Z Caustic Trip. It's spelled Z E A C O S I C Trip. Seed received. God bless you. Monica Harrison. Seed received. God bless you. Nevea Presley. N E V A E H. Presley, God bless you. See, there are some of you, uh, you still haven't went to sow. Uh, see, you think this is a game, but there are people uh, who say, I know, uh, glory be to God, uh, that this was for me. Uh, there are people uh, who said, I know the waters of the Bacosaya uh, are stirring on tonight. Uh, and they say, uh, hallelujah, that I would not be left out of this blessing. You better pray and ask God about it. Watch this. Um, I don't know where I stopped. Nevaeh Presley, God bless you. Tamika Johnson, God bless you. Tabitha Parks, God bless you. Natasha Smith, God bless you. That's one of my, that's one of my main followers. The woman of God sold 27 because she knows 27 is my confirmation number. It is complete. Shante Wilson, God bless you. Seed receive Lundy, God bless you. Seed receive Lundy is spelled L U N D Y. Styles by Niche sold a third time. God bless you. Threefold woman of God. Did that by Kosiah in the name of Jesus? Um, I received your seed, Alnisha Johnson at iCloud. For Anisha and Grayson, God bless you. There's a bunch of people sewing. There's a bunch of people who sewed via Zelle. Also, know your Queen's Boutique. God bless you. It's a it's a bunch of people sewing. Um, Chime, PayPal, Zelle, things like that. I cannot see. Um, there's a bunch of people still sewing on Cash App. But may the Lord bless your seeds on tonight. Tonight's message, people of God, for the ones who are watching. Glory be to God. It's I'm too busy to address you. Z Caustic. Uh, a trip. I got your all around seed. Z Caustic trip. Oh, you sold twice. God, God bless you. God bless the people who are stepping out on faith more than once. Those are people who are eager for God to show up. I'm, I'm telling you, God is up to something. The phone number is at the bottom, 754-971-3301. That is for Cash App and Apple Pay. Let me put it, let me pin the Cash App to the bottom. Hold on. Kosher Hargrove said, I sold for my daughter, Frances Fields. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. May the Lord do it for your daughter. The information is to the bottom, you guys. For the ones who are asking about Cash App only. Dr. Shakira McFadden, you got to put in my full name. You'll see me with a black dress. If you are somebody who needs to sew via Zelle, Chime, PayPal, Venmo, Varo, or Givelify. It's a different number, 754 Two four six zero five eight zero. I love you too. Styles by Niche. Inbox me your address. I want to send you a gift just for always sowing into my ministry. 
Um, I just sent out Natasha Smith something and another young lady who always sew into my ministry. I sent out their packages yesterday and sent them their tracking. I would love to bless you people who sew all the time. You know, God, God leads me to bless them. Please put your, in, your address in my inbox. Glory be to God. Yes. I love you guys. Listen, you guys, tomorrow I have a woman of God, Misha Stimson. I receive your seed. God bless you. I have a prophetess who will be on with me tomorrow in the daytime. I'm thinking we're going to be on at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Or maybe 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm not sure. I'm going to post it later tonight. When I tell you this woman of God is so powerful. Please try to tune in. Keep checking my page. Check at 9 a.m. and check at 12 p.m. Just to be safe Eastern time. I love you guys. God bless you guys again next Saturday. September the 14th. It's my Besties Beach Bible and Brunch event. We are having brunch on Fort Lauderdale Beach. I got three prophets that are coming in and they're coming to speak into the people of God's life. And then immediately right after ladies, ladies, we're going to go down by the water. We're going to pray. And right then and there, we are doing a baptism. Uh, uh, Bishop Frank Lord and Pastor Gene Johnson all the way from Texas will be baptizing us in the ocean. Yes, I will be getting baptized again. I'm telling y'all, God is going to move. If you need information about that event, please message me. Natasha, I need you to get, um, I need you to do me a favor and get um, me the list because the list is almost full. I think I only got like nine more spots. Let me show y'all this. It's crazy. God is moving. Look at this. I got to do it from back here because I don't want nobody to get nobody phone numbers. But the list literally starts here. And look, I'm telling y'all, like, this is all I got left. One, two, three, four, five spots left. So I need their names ASAP, Natasha. People who you know for sure are coming because, um, you know, the account for food, okay? Um, I love you guys. God bless you guys. GG, baby, you should come up, okay? You should come up. I love you guys. God bless you guys. You guys have a great night. Try to tune in. I know, Natasha, tell them you ain't rushing them, but baby, I only got so many seats. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love you guys. God bless you guys. If you need information about the event, inbox me. I love you too, Jalisha. You guys take care.